Hello, this is Music Man from His Man Cave. And so I've had a request. Uh, my dad wants me to um, review the uh, Bourne Trilogy. And, uh, and so uh, it happens that my dad has the same name that I do. There's a secret. But we'll look at uh, the Bourne Identity. We'll talk about it. We'll analyze it. And we'll decide what we think. Coming right at you. The Born Identity. Yeah. You can tell it's going to be about a guy with a gun. See, that's the only thing I don't like about movies these days is they think the audience is too stupid to be surprised. And so when the trailers come out, they tell way too much. So you see tra a trailer with him saying like, I can do all these super things. Like I can, you know, shoot really accurate and I can like run and I can do all this stuff, but I can't remember who I am. Except that, and then they show that he was floating in the ocean with bullets in his back and someone pulled a chip out of his hip and, and you realize immediately he's a secret agent. Duh. And guess what? I'm right. I put this together, I put that together, and I discovered before the movie even was uh, uh, 10 minutes in that this guy is a weapon. He's a secret agent. Um, little hints happen like when he was approached by some cops and he's on a bench and he basically takes the cops out in a light <laughs> and they're done. And they're laying there in the snow and he's like, <laughs> How did I do that? Who am I? And you know who he is. Uh, Jason Bourne is uh, America's James Bond. And so, sure enough, then they show the behind, there's some people that are concerned because this $30 million weapon is loose and he has amnesia and something's going down. And you know what, they hap what happens when in a government thing that's uh, really dangerous gets loose? You know what they want to do? And so they did, that's the decision that uh, Treadwell or Operation Treadstone makes is that they're going to take him out. Of course, there are some complications to taking out a secret weapon like Jason Bourne. Who is Jason Bourne? Well, I'll tell you what the movie shows. He's a guy that can beat you with a ballpoint pen. He's a guy that can beat you with a newspaper. He's a guy that can beat you any way you can imagine. Now... Um, I, so there's all this uh, foreshadowing, you know what's coming down, you know that they're going to try to, 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 to kill him, you know they're not going to be able to. You can just see that he is brilliant. He's a step ahead of the government everywhere, every way that you can imagine. And that, is, uh, anyone that's anti-government is going to love this movie, because Jason Bourne makes the government look like a joke. So, um, anyway, uh, he meets up with a sweet gal, and they're chased all around uh, the world, including Paris or whatever, and um, Jason Bourne, uh, basically, is, it's like layers. This movie is like layers and, of, of, of finding out more about Jason Bourne. That's why it's called The Bourne Identity. So you're, you're starting to uncover layers, and it gets deeper, and it gets deeper, and there's, there's depth. And there's layers until he gets to finally to a, a point where um, he is uh, he meets the guy who is basically his boss. Now, the only thing problem I have with this movie is an issue called believability. Um, at the beginning of the movie, Jason Bourne was skimming down buildings like Spider Man and being very careful, and and he couldn't, you know. But in the end of the movie, um, you can count the stories in the movie. It was either five or ten stories. He can actually jump. Ten stories down on a guy's back, riding him like a horse, shoot a guy in the head, and land ten stories at the bottom of the stairwell, and limp away. Peter Parker couldn't do that. And that's the only problem that I have with this, uh, this movie right off the bat, is that, uh, just like the movie Salt, if you're going to make it, make him a superhero, and you're going to establish that he can jump from the top of a building and land and walk away... Then they should have done that from the beginning. Maybe he didn't know how powerful he was. I don't know. But um, if any man, even a man with enhanced musculature, would have jumped like that, he would have had his legs broken off. And uh, it would have been uh, a different ending to the movie. Um, however, uh, for the sake of the movie, they, that's 
how they decided to end it. And of course, the guy that he's in charge of, like all government movies, he has to be taken care of. Why? Because his, his weapon is still loose, and Jason Bourne walks away. And thus, we will talk about the next movie, which is called The Bourne Supremacy. Coming at you. Take care.